All right, that's it. It's two surges and radiant. Got an orb this time. It's one one surge on knucklehead. It's three surges for ace. Damn. I don't know. I'm willing to do it. I'm willing to take that. That's pretty good. All right. So three for ace, two for thorn, one with knucklehead. That's the takeaway. So if you want to two tap with thorn, I'm going to repeat that. You need one kinetic surge with knucklehead, two kinetic surges without, and you need to be proccing radiant the entire time. So probably Acrobat Dodge. With Ace of Spades, you need Radiant and three Kinetic Surges to kill. You're on 100 Brazil. Okay, check this out. Headshot, throw a knife. Sliver. It turns out that there's a gun that hits about a sliver. It's called Thorn. And now we wait for the cooldowns. So Thorn makes the lightweight knife competitive. And something I found out with this, and I'm going to throw one more, is when I play a controller, if I shoot and then immediately throw the knife, my gun model is about up here because of the recoil, and so the knife misses them because it flies over their head. The solution to this was pretty simple. It's crouch right when the knife leaves your hand. So like that. That's how I fix it on controller, because I cannot accurately pull the stick down the exact amount it needs to, to compensate for the recoil at the same time. It's just not practical. So the answer was, shoot, crouch, throw, in that order. She Right there. I don't think I'm getting anything anymore. High ground, I can just snipe him. Sniper is just a big hand cannon, never forget that. He's gonna miss. I got so lucky. I'll be playing controller if I do though, so just like no, I'm not gonna be contributing as much as you think. I need a bound and emote to my controller. A lightweight throwing knife? It's so that I can headshot somebody, throw the knife, and then get the kill. That only works with Thorn. That's a Thorn exclusive tech. And you got to see it while I was explaining it. Like, that's how much I just willed that kill into existence. It means the mobility. It gets me close and in between fights well enough. Dude, this fucking pose is incredible.
in the theme of knucklehead radar, I am using sniper rifles so I can maintain radar while sniping. I think shotgun's more efficient for sixes. Oh, my team is getting active. Fusion. And he almost wins that just because melee. Haha. Uh -huh. Yeah, snipes more for thinning the herd, making very, very clutch plays. That's what that knife is for, by the way. It's to shoot a single headshot and then throw a knife headshot. They don't even know what hit them. That's a rift. I don't win that. You're going to be hearing that a lot. Is when I quickly identify what fights are not favorable. Knucklehead helps me with that. It also lets you play the camera a little bit better. Whoa. When I say play the camera, it means as the red on the radar is approaching you, you should be leaving while dealing a shot. And they should barely see your character. If anything, it looks like they got shot through the wall on their screen. It's pretty efficient, especially with the sniper. But you should be walking backwards as they walk forward and then jiggle peek the cover. And that's why Knucklehead is so good because it's baby's first exotic to help you train this strat. Just like that. I was out a little bit wide there, but you'll get better and better and better at it until you barely even show your character model. And then on top of that, you of course have wall hacks, right? I always try to throw the healing nade ahead or behind my fight, never during my fight. Also helps me get to my dodge back faster. Yeah, pre-fire there too. I'm kind of guaranteeing my exit with that, but it is risky to pre-fire, by the way. Because if he wide slides you while you're in between shots, he can suddenly win the fight with this networking. There we go. Good combo. I almost mom spaghetti that. I can dodge backwards because I'm playing Roller, the superior input device for Radiant Dodge. You can also delay the perk activation. Well, I can't right here because it's stuck in a wall somehow. Thorn <laughs> needed Step Bro's help. No, I was going to say, you don't let me do that again. By the way, did you see that knife magnetize? Power controller, baby. This is a good thing, the herd opportunity. He already sees where I am, so I'm going to reposition. There's Ego Chows, and then there's Stupid Chows. Let's reposition again. We know they have power ammo. I don't have a dodge, so I want to pretty much hug cover the best I can. Uh, currently, there's too many on my radar, so I'm actually going to back this up and... Try to just plank, stay out of line of sight the best I can, because it, it's going to be a machine gun. I'm trying to get an angle so I can crossfire with my teammates. It's not going very good, but it's partly this map. I want the handling right now, not necessarily the damage boost. I'm going to out-heal this, and we're just going to look for some two-taps. Even if you... When I don't have Knucklehead, I like to look at what my teammates are looking at. Because they might be farther up. They might see something I don't. And so wherever their gun is pointed is a really good... That's a wish ender. Really good indication of where the enemies are. So you can sort of use that to build your mental map of the battlefield. I'm trying not to block the teammates' strafe. Of course he didn't team with me right there. I was more concerned in not blocking the teammate's strafe so that he could be of assistance right there. Rather than me hugging cover and then both of us dying because I'm out of cover, he blocks me, etc. Yeah, that was just unfortunate. 
I'm not gonna snipe. Ain't no point. On stairs, you want to be crouched and then release the crouch into your shot. If they chase, I got a knife for them. Nice. Got the two-tap juice. Uh, they might actually want to duel me, so let's swing this. Alright, I see blue. see where my teammates are, so I know where to free him. I might actually be able to get a window kill. Getting chased. So gonna make myself a very hard kill. Three, unfortunately. If I got that extra kill, there is a chance that I live. But if I also didn't try to fight at all, there is a chance I live. I don't know. I don't know what the better choice was. Unless your snipe's gonna body shot, I don't recommend pulling the snipe out. I'm hugging cover since he does have a fusion. I need to shoot my way out of this, the best of my ability. My eyes are on the radar right now, not on my fight, by the way. So if I miss shots right there, that's why. Good time to snipe. Like I said, thin the herd. I'm gonna ego shell this since it really doesn't matter with score. I might even be able to just break it. I can't see it. Stick to my cover. Oh, hell yes. Hello, well citizens. I can't hit this sliding. Warlocks. That's why I like triple jump. You can keep your body list exposed or say aerial more. I can round two this. Hey, what does it happen sometimes where my gun isn't loaded? Did I? I might have just spent that many bullets, but sometimes I feel like it special generates and it doesn't auto load. It really, really throws off the combat flow. This is more of a threes loadout, by the way, not a sixes loadout. I would be shotgunning if I wanted to win harder. My teammate went crazy right there, but I hope this shows the proof of concept with this let out. In threes, you want to be playing that camera, thinning the herd for your team, and then collapsing as a team to get your special back. So that's kind of the gameplay loop. Thorn, you can choose one two radiant with the perk and turn Thorn into a two tapper, or be using the lightweight knife, or you can switch off of this and maybe go like a fusion nade, try to combo into that with a radiant Thorn headshot, something like that. So there's a lot of ways to play this as a really, really aggressive sniping class where if you have sniper ammo, use it with knucklehead, play the camera. If you don't, pull Thorn out, be hunting for these lightweight knife combos or these grenade instant kills with Radiant and the perk. So you'll ramp up pretty quick by just playing a good angle with your teammate. Good crossfire with your teammate. Hope that makes sense. Also, it frees up another boot slot if you want that for perhaps holster to fix that problem. So, anyway, friends, see you in the next one. Deviating from the normal path. Good, that cost a nade. I'll take my plus 40. Here, have some arc tools.
I just realized my arcs will pick up this the uh, thorn kill right there. I was only moving that way to pick up the soul devourer. All right, that was a pretty low investment round for me. I think it cost my team though a special weapon or two. Got the direct path and the grapple timing. Oh, this is going to be great. Got to close off that door so we can fight our other side. might fly in with this one. I'm gonna switch my angle of attack here. Could be a double. There it is. Good teams. Uh oh. And that player just learned why hand cannons are superior to auto weapons. Once I'm two headshots ahead of him, I just throw the ball lightning overhead and it, it will always get the kill. So that's what I'm playing for, is just to be two shots ahead to keep them behind cover. Might even be able to do that right here. Just put a tracer right there. If I could controller turn 180 into my melee right there, that would have been a triple. Just didn't get it. Deviating from the normal path, trying to catch all three in a choke point. I don't care about under overrun machine gun. Solid thorn match. <laughs> 